Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. As we head towards kickoff, two quarterbacks will be on the field today trying to push their team to victory. It's Jared Goff's Rams going up against Newton's Panthers. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Los Angeles Rams. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now Goff on first down. And the open receiver, it's Robert Woods. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there, a 22. carry here for Todd Gurley and this one's going to go the wrong way losing yardage back at the 42 it'll wind up being a loss of two and it'll be second and 12 Set up the screen to Gurley. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Accepted. Picked up by Thomas Davis. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Now following the interception, here's Newton. And this is caught. It's Greg Olson. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opened things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Greg Olson, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Gano out to kick this one away. 
This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. On first down, it's Gurley. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. And speaking of Todd Gurley, Charles, you and I had a lengthy discussion in the offseason about his sophomore slump, but he has picked it back up this year. And maybe nothing more indicative of that than that Week 15 performance. Fantastic. In Seattle, uh, you know, in the game one against Seattle in 2017, he ran for 43 total yards. In this one, he ran for 152. Actually caught a pass for a touchdown as well, so he had four total touchdowns. He looks the part. And when we're starting to talk about MVPs, his name doesn't get enough mention. It should, because Todd Gurley's having a monster year, over 1,000 yards rushing, 11 games now where he's had over 100 yards from scrimmage in 2017. You say MVP, you can talk about Tom Brady, Carson Wentz, Russell Wilson. You need to bring Todd Gurley's name into the discussion. Golf. And that is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. You missed Gurley in the flag. These guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. They're going to go for it. It's gone. They got a man. It's Woods. It's a. Toss. It's Gurley. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. Credit him with a one yard gain there to make it second and nine. When we talk about Luke Keekley, you can't talk about his overall game without talking about his intelligence and how he controls the whole defense. He quarterbacks that defense and at times will actually make checks just like a quarterback would on offense to get him into the right defense. They definitely were on that play. How about that finish? Holding that to a minimal gain. Here's Goff now on second down. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. A gain of 32 that time. Just the first quarter, but tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and learning all offseason about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a, different a story. long night. Second down here after the incomplete pass. the gun. Here's gone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only you up got good to the 9 line. Safety keep in playing so zone. Back -to -back 
five drives with it. Look at the offense. Shaking my head. Two seconds to go, first quarter. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line as that will wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play. And on second and ten now. A shotgun snap for Newton. And caught left side, Olsen. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. We've been together a little while now, partner. How often do we actually describe tight ends as nifty? Because that's what I think of when I see Greg Olson on the field. His ability to run routes, create space and separation, and make those catches downfield. And sure consistent. The numbers the last couple of years almost identical in both over 1,000-yard seasons. 11 more on that one and another first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Newton on first down. And the Rams got him. They bring him down. Aaron Donald in there to sack him for a loss of six. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team that had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. Over the middle. It's incomplete. The intended target that time, Brenton Burson. Third down here. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. From the gun, here's Newton. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. Fielded just inside the 20. A field flipper there, a 47-yard punt coupled with a loss on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here with a first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And he'll push forward for about four up to the 23. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out of it as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. The throw on second down is gone. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Adams. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys are picking it off. They're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you.
So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Rams offense now making their way out to take over. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. They'll get four there out of the screen, and it's second down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. On second down, here's gone. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked by Daryl Worley. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Under what we just saw, that's a great example of a team that was really amped up. They've been playing so well, yet they didn't get overexcited and have a bust on defense and gave up a big play. Instead, they created their own big play with a pick six. This one may be over. Yeah, it's just the first half, but that lead is swelled to the point where you're wondering if it is over already. Coming off the pick six, it's Newton. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. I know they didn't tack on the two points, but I liked their attempt. After the interception return for a touchdown, I was thinking to myself, forget kicking it, go for two, and they did. Well, yeah, and everybody's scrambling. Maybe you catch the defense on their heels. They weren't ready to be out there. Yeah, it's almost like a sudden change, right? There's a turnover. You take it away. They stuck it in the end zone. Keep the momentum going. Give credit to the defensive guys for rallying and stopping that two-point attempt. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field, and they've sort of lost their way partner how do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track well this is where leadership really comes into play how's the head coach handling it the offensive coordinator sometimes they just make a joke all right guys had your fun all right throw it out the window yeah let's get back on track here and sometimes that'll work just fine i guess it's time now to lean on that leadership it's a pickup of 16 there and it'll lead to a new set of downs First down, gone. And that's caught left side. It's Woods. Give him 30 yards there. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. Fresh set of downs here. Now gone. Dumps it off to Gurley. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. It doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. They got a man over the middle. It's Woods. Goff hitting Woods for a Rams first. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. From the red zone now, Goff. No, a nifty juke there. How much fun for a guy to try to tackle. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe. And he's going to go down right near the goal line. The official
officials look at each other. They're going to mark him at the one-yard line. Ethan Westbrooks coming up the middle, gets him there for a loss of about nine. Zone, Newton and Olsen over the middle. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. The 20. Touchdown, Carolina. Greg Olsen, 98 yards. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. I heard a coach talk about those late in the half scores, especially ones that give your team a pretty decent cushion. He said those could be the ones that could finish off a squad if you let them. Yeah, they've got the cushion. This half has been theirs. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. And the Rams now coming out on the field. Typically down in the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive. <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But normally <laughs> I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time. First half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big-time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. On first and ten, golf. And now here is another interception. Picked up by James Bradbury. And nothing but daylight ahead. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That pick six extending this lead even further. And boy, it's been a while since I've seen a team struggle this badly in the first half. I think all they want to do is get to the locker room, try and regroup, and come out to start the third quarter. But things don't improve fast then. I think the backups get a lot of play in the second half. And he is into the end zone. So they get two more on the board here just before halftime. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This is taken about seven yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Now a play fake here on first down. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by James Bradbury. And he will be brought down as time is now run out this first half of action. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. <laughs> 